had my little backpack and I was just like, did you do? Let me go see it. Hey guys, so you guys asked us about solo traveling here in Korea. Particularly for female travelers, but really any travelers. I actually, before I moved to Korea, I did come to Korea by myself for a week of vacation. Uh, mostly because I hate coordinating vacation schedules. <laughs> Korea is actually very top rated for me in terms of solo traveling, especially as a female, because it is mm. very safe relative to other places I've been <laughs> as a solo female traveler so at least there's that on top but I know a lot of you guys first time traveling it's very it can be scary it can be scary you're quite nervous so just wanted to ease the tension number one the first and foremost is where you want to stay so we were talking about this a lot actually and we've decided that the number one place recommended by us is to stay in da -da -da, dermal place you know what is it? Okay. Yeah. Hong <laughs> Day. God. Look what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Assuming as a solo traveler, maybe you go out and meet people. So Hong Day is a great place because there's a lot of young people. And if you go to a bar or something, it's like really fun and active. It's also easy to get to other places within the city from there. Because like one of the main, if you ride the subway, which the subway is super easy to navigate here. Don't worry. Um, but if you take the subway, like there's the green line in Hongdae and you can go like straight to Gangnam from there. Cause I feel like Gangnam is a little bit isolated. And I feel like once you're in Gangnam, it's like hard, like the subway line in Gangnam is very, like it these takes people, like the long way around. These rich people because, got cars, yeah, like they don't they need the subway. subway. <laughs> so it takes forever to get to like point A to point B in Gangnam, when if you took a car, it would take like a 10 minute drive. Yeah, literally. So in Gangnam, there's literally Apgujang, Shinsa, Gangnam Station. None of the lines connect to each yeah, other. Yeah, but they're like right beside each other within like a few blocks. So you'd probably have to try to figure out the bus system, which is not difficult, but it's also not as easy as just riding the subway. Yeah. Myeongdong is for shopping. So again, you can easily get there from Hongdae, any sort of train, and mm -hmm. but Myeongdong is really just purely for a shop. Yeah, and it's packed, so packed, tourists. and all the hotels are just like huge Chinese tour groups. Yeah. I think I'm allowed to say that because my family also <laughs> came and they all stayed in Myeongdong <laughs> um, as a huge tour group. So um, and yeah. Dongdae Moon as well. So. Yeah, it's also easy to get to Insadong from Hongdae, which is like if you want like culture. Korean culture. So what should you do when you get to Korea? Just do the tourist things. So we've made a video about top sites to see in Seoul, so go check that out. <laughs> if you're solo and in, in coming to visit and you want to meet some people, there's some things you can do. Yeah, so there are some Facebook groups. I feel like we always mention these Facebook groups, <laughs> but they really are They're really, really super helpful. Yeah, um, not only with just like recommendations for like places to visit or like places to eat, but you can also just meet people on there. Like girls all the time will be posting like, um, I'm in this area today and I was just wondering if anyone wants to hang out because I don't have anyone to hang out with. And you can just meet up with people that way and it's super easy. You can also um, download Tinder here, which uh, some of you may be thinking like, oh, I'm not trying to meet any guys while I'm over there or girls while I'm over there like for, you know, dating or whatever. But Tinder here is actually marketed as an app to meet neighborhood friends. <laughs> So, so there is like yeah. obviously the first step is like there are obviously people there yeah. to date, but yeah. actually some of my friends before they told me before they came to Korea they downloaded Tinder and that's how they met some of their initial friends when they mm -hmm. first got here. You could see who you meet on there and if you want to hang out with them. Yeah, I mean you don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> and I think the number one thing I a lot of people worry about sometimes when they come to Korea is eating because it's not really known for solo eating culture. But most restaurants you actually can eat alone because a lot of times like if I'm just out on an errand or something I'm just gonna eat alone. So don't worry about most dining establishments I think the only thing is with places where you're grilling meat or eating some sort of big pan type mm -hmm. dish That's when they don't really let solo solo travelers indulge but in that case you can google like there's like new restaurants that have been coming up that um target specifically for solo eating. I feel like it's a growing thing in Korea too. Mm -hmm. Where like people are just busy and got you can't about. always coordinate to eat with people. Yeah. It's just not realistic. Yeah. And also like when in doubt the department stores 
also cater to individual diners. So you can even have like a hot pot by yourself in the department mm -hmm. store. Throw that out there. Thought it might be helpful, some useful tips. But if you have any specific questions, let us know in the comments below. Or maybe we can like compile them if we get enough and make another video addressing everything. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. I know I, when I first came to Korea, I was also really... I was like a little bit like, oh, okay. <laughs> so um, hopefully this this eases your tensions a little bit. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next one. Bye.